Hey guys, Billy from Uobami. Uh We are in the second area of the house that I keep animals in. Uh, this is downstairs, my main room is upstairs. Uh, so I found something today that I'm pretty excited about. It's something I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull off or not. Uh, so I figured I'd share with you guys and see uh, how I set up things and what I do. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I found. So came down to check on this girl. And ended up finding her on a clutch of eggs. So this is a, a bread lie, obviously. And I was not sure if I was going to be able to pull off actually getting eggs from these guys uh, since I have historically had problems with uh, temperate species and cooling and brumating and all that kind of stuff. So this is really exciting to me. So real quick, I will show you my egg box setup where I pull these eggs. Very simple setup. I just have a damp vermiculite. I cut PVC legs just about an inch, inch and a half for the, the 15 quarts, which is the 15 quart. And then light diffuser, cut to size. So you don't have to worry so much about your water to vermiculite ratio. This makes things a little easier. But this is what I'll be using to incubate these guys. Alright, so pull these guys, show you how I pull carpet eggs. We got one that she kicked out. So still put that in and we'll see what uh what it looks like whenever we candle it. This clutch looks fantastic. Oh, one slug. Biggest thing you want to worry about is turning the eggs. I'm not sure exactly how long she's been on these, but let's see what we got. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and a slug. So not bad, they all look great. So this is a 50% hypo blood stonewash female, visual stonewash. She was bred to a 100% um, hypo blood male and also I rotated a, another 50% hypo visual stonewash male with her so it'll be cool to see what ends up coming out these guys. So here's mom. She actually looks pretty good after laying. And then there's the clutch. So that's the egg that she kicked out. We'll candle that and see how it goes. And then the rest of the clutch looks fantastic. I'll have to get that uh, slug out of there. But the rest of them look great. So. so I got the eggs set up, candled them all. Uh, obviously the one slug was bad, but even the one that she kicked out has veins. So I have high hopes for that one. Uh, the rest of them all have really strong veins. The clutch looks great. I'm really excited. I am uh, can't believe that I got Brettle's eggs. That's uh, definitely an accomplishment for me. I've always been a winter breeder guy, so to be able to get them cool enough to get fertile eggs here in Florida and how I had to you know, kind of work the system a little bit definitely makes me happy that I got these guys. So now they're set up in the incubator. They are doing their thing, so hopefully in two months uh, we'll have some babies, and then I'll get to see if the hypo got the job done, or if the hypo stonewash male got the job done. I got a feeling it was the hypo. He was locking like crazy, so it would make sense if he did. Uh, I never saw any locks from the hypo stonewash male, but that's okay. Uh, so, looking good. Here they are. see we will see what happens thanks for tuning in until next time guys